Hi everybody, it's Kate and I'm here with Keely, one of our moms from nursery school. Keely has some very special little guests in her house that she rescued. So we're gonna talk about them today and see what she does and see what's going on at her home right now. Hi Keely. Yeah. Hi, I'm Keely, and I found three baby possums ah. that I am so excited to show you and tell you about today. So cool. Let's get started. Okay, so let me look at them. I have to look to tell which one's which. Yeah, how do you tell them apart? Okay, so this one, come here, friend, is a little girl. You can tell they're a girl because they have a little pouch right here. You see, it's oh, whiter right there. I see that. So the yeah. girls have a pouch, and one of my girls has a hurt foot. Okay. So this one, Warren named Superhero. The one that you're holding, okay. This is Superhero. Mm -hmm. uh, and she is the middle weight of the three. Okay. She weighs 99 grams. Wow, 99 grams. As of this morning. Oh my goodness. Do you have a like, scale? I'm using my little kitchen food scale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just putting a little towel over it and then putting them on the towel. Mm -hmm. So Warren named her superhero. Okay. And she's very sweet. She looks sweet. She's just chilling. Yeah. Bye. And then this one is the one with the hurt little foot. So this is Georgie. Georgie. She's also a girl. Okay. And AJ named her Georgie. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I see her tail is wrapped around your fingers. Mm-hmm. Oh, that is so sweet. They must She's the it. smallest one. Mm -hmm. And is much snugglier than the other two. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, she's cozying up to your neck right now. I see that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they are it's like just darling. Nuzzling her nose into my neck. Yeah. Do they feel warm? Do they run warm? Um, so their body temperature is lower than ours. Okay. Their body temperature is only 90 degrees versus the average human being 98.6. Okay. So they're actually unable to carry most diseases because their body temperature is too low. Hmm. That's so they feel like, they feel very similar to like the temperature of my hand. They don't feel very warm or anything to me. Yeah, I was reading that possums rarely, if ever, get rabies which is like what most people I yeah. think fear with a possum or an animal like that, a wild animal that often comes into your yard, but that they rarely get that. Yeah, they very rarely get rabies because their body temperature is too low. Mm -hmm. um, they also can be, uh, when they're adults, they can eat poisonous like snakes and spiders mm. because their body temperature is too low to be affected by the venom. Interesting. That's really cool. cool. And when they're babies, their ears are white. Mm -hmm. As they get older, their ears will be completely black. Oh, I see. So you can gauge age, apparently, by the color of their ears. Mm. So an adult possum would have black ears. From what I've read, yes, majority of the time. Sometimes I little blossoms in my yard. Next time I'll have to look at the ears and see what color the ears are. Oh. <laughs> little Georgie. And then, <laughs> so I'm like immediately I looked in here and just mouth wide open. <laughs> what does that mean when they do that? They're, they're trying to threaten you away. Look at my big scary teeth. Mm, yeah. Not positive which one I've already shown you and which one I put back in here. <laughs> Can I see your belly? Let me see your belly. Nope, can't see your belly. Will you go there? Nope. Go there. There we go. <laughs> it's the one that keeps opening their mouth at me. That one looks a lot bigger to me. 
Yeah, so this is this should be our little boy. Okay. And he is 110 grams. Wow. Are the males usually larger than the females? Do you think they are in adulthood, and so it makes sense they would be in childhood also. Right. The little Georgie so much sweeter. Yeah, Georgie is much more willing to be right there in the close to you. This one does not look happy with me right now. What's that one's name? We, we've changed it like four times and now I don't know. <laughs> right. What was the last name? Um, I don't, the woman we'd been working with named uh, him and um, I don't remember what the name was. So I've like literally just been calling him little boy. Little, big boy. Yeah. Big boy now. Oh my goodness. Do they have little claws to hang on to you like yeah. that? Hi. Mommy, what are you doing? See, see. Oh yeah, I see. They also on their back feet have opposable thumbs. Oh. Like humans. And the opposable thumb does not have a claw on it. Oh. That's really interesting. They have, they have claws on all of their other fingers and toes except for that little opposable thumb. Hmm. And they the just use that for balance? To pick up things for balance for they actually cannot hang by their tails, which I know some people believe. Yeah, I, I had heard that before. They but, use their tails for balance and they can pick up things with their tail apparently, but they cannot hang themselves by it. That would be a lot of weight to hang from a tail. How much do they weigh when they're full grown? Um, I'm not sure how much they can get up to. Yeah. Um, I know in, so some people, when they rescue these babies, they will release them to the wild, um, in just a couple weeks from now. Okay. That would be when they would normally be off of mom's back. Okay. Mom carries them on her back until they're ready to be on their own. And then um, they go off and they don't spend their lives with their mom anymore? They don't spend their lives together at all. They're okay, completely they're loners once they're adults. Interesting. Um, however, um, a lot of other, there's two opinions in the possum world. One being they release them as soon as they would normally be away from mom. Right. The other is they keep them until they're between two and a half to three pounds, mm -hmm. which is a pretty big possum. <laughs> that is. Yeah, seeing um, because then they're no longer at risk of being prey to birds. Oh, okay, okay. So it looks like they're kept in a box. Is that where they sleep and eat too? So they like to be able to hide. Mm -hmm. So they always have blankets and stuff in there. Um, I have them right now, and they're, they've almost outgrown it, like right. just this little like cat carrier. Oh, I see. Uh -huh. There's a little oh, hammock in there for them. Oh my goodness. They can climb in, uh, and I'm giving them bowls of formula as well as bowls of food. Okay. Um, What's and the so they food? stay in here. Uh, so there's, again, several different opinions on food for them. Uh, what I'm doing right now is a blend that there's a like a possum rescue Facebook group I found. Great. And they all recommend this like very specific food until a certain age. Okay. And it's blending like a certain kind of like hard dog kibble with uh, like fresh fruits and vegetables. Oh. And so I've been giving them this almost like veggie smoothie blend. With a little dog food? With a little dog food for extra nutrition and protein. Uh, they need large amounts of calcium. Okay. Or they can develop um, metabolic bone disease. Oh, and so they all get a calcium supplement in their formula. Mm, okay. And 
I'm getting um, veggies that are high in calcium. So like kale and bok choy and broccoli and spinach mm -hmm. and then a little bit of carrot and cauliflower and playing with different veggies to see what they like best. Do they have a little like bit of yogurt the in there? Thing, you think? Or do they um, have preferences? So they're nocturnal. Mm -hmm. So they mostly eat at night. Right. I am giving them food throughout the day, but they mostly eat at night. And so I'm not sure who eats what <laughs> that I put in there. Yeah. I did at one point have a baby monitor set on the cage. Oh my goodness. To where I could see them. <laughs> yeah. And then one of them went on an escape mission. Oh. And got out of the cage, which I got to like, looked at the baby monitor and I see like possum half out of the cage. <laughs> Um, and so now I no longer have <laughs> the cage away from the wall. The front of it is now See. touching the wall <laughs> so right. that they cannot escape. Wow, they figured that out. Yes, oh, they did. Yeah. Is that Georgie or superhero? I don't know. Me neither. Let me see, Let me see your foot. <laughs> I can tell by the injured foot. So no injured foot, so that's superhero. Superhero. And they eat their food out of like a little bowl, like you don't have to give them a bottle? Yep, little bowl. These are big enough to not need a bottle. Mm -hmm. um, I give them a little bowl, like just a little saucer dish of formula. Mm -hmm. And then I'm putting a little bit of mashed banana in the center of that still to make it more appealing. Mm -hmm. And then... I give them a bowl of the, and a little saucer mm -hmm. of the veggie smoothie stuff. Mm -hmm. And they're eating that pretty well. If they were with their mom, would they be foraging for like through garbage or climbing um, trees? At this age, they eat a lot of like food that's like fallen from fruit trees. Right. Uh, a lot of bugs and worms and mm, snails yeah. and crickets, mm -hmm. frogs. Oh, wow. Um, as they get bigger, they'll eat snakes mm, mm -hmm. and other bigger things like that. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, they mostly forage for other little small animals. Things that they would and find like, in their house fruits and veggies mm -hmm. Hmm. that would be on the ground. Yeah. I don't think they can climb like all the way up a tree at this age. And they usually yeah. don't leave mom very much at this age. So it would be whatever food she got them. Do they stay somewhere when mom goes to find food or are they always on her back? They're always on her back. Wow. She must be really strong to carry all those babies. I can't imagine them. Um, a human doing that with their baby. I they mean, can have, multiple babies. They can have up to 13. That's a lot. Is that like the average size litter? 13 or is it? Um, I, I only know that like she, most of the mothers only have 13 teats that they can nurse on. Mm, mm-hmm. So she can't have more than 13 survive yeah, there's not if enough. she gave birth to more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but I don't know if they typically give birth to less than that. Mm -hmm. I know they only, um, they're only pregnant for 12 days. Right, yeah. I and was then they go that. in the pouch. Wow. And they are the only animals in North America that have a pouch. Mm. Yeah, that's really neat. That's so neat to see their little pouch too. It's like a baby pouch. Mm. Where did you find them at your house? So, outside? so the first one them. that I found, mm -hmm. um, AJ and I, my daughter and I had gone out into our front yard Okay. And there was this little baby possum walking down the sidewalk. Oh my goodness. During the day. During the day. And they're nocturnal animals. So yeah. I was like, what? <laughs> it was like Did 3 you know? p.m. and sunny. 
Did you recognize that it was a possum right away? I did immediately recognize that it was a possum. I'm originally from Tennessee. Uh -huh. <laughs> I've seen several <laughs> possums in my life. Uh, and so I knew exactly what it was as soon as yeah. I saw it. Yeah. And I like took a picture of it on the sidewalk and I was like, hey bud, what are you doing there? Like mm -hmm. the middle of the day. Yeah. And he heard me talking to him and turned and I have a fence around my front yard that's very small and kind of high. Okay. And he turned, he went straight under my fence. Oh. He lined across my yard mm -hmm. and curled up under a bush and went to sleep. Oh my goodness. And so I was like, Tired. all right then. Hmm. And so then I posted on a local Facebook group being like, what do I do? Like I have a possum. I don't right clearly it's a baby yes and so i asked what to do on a group and someone gave me the number for a rehabber and that was what i was hearing everywhere is you need to find someone who is trained in rehabilitating them as soon as possible yeah someone who knows a lot about possums and so i got a cardboard box and she told me to get a towel and put it in the dryer for like a minute to warm it up Mm -hmm. And then I went and picked him up with my hand from under the bush and put him in the box. Mm -hmm. She said, if there's one, there's probably more. <laughs> and I was like, oh no, what have I gotten into? <laughs> and at that point I'd already agreed to foster. And I was thinking like a couple of days until somebody else could take care of them. <laughs> right. Right. Um, and then I'm like waiting for her to come over here to like bring me formula and bottles and every teach me what the heck I'm doing with this little animal. Yeah. Uh, and she was, I'm standing outside waiting for her to get there. I see a possum come out of a bush on the other side of my house. Oh. And so I'm like, okay. And I go and pick that one up. And that was this one. Mm -hmm. Superhero and put her in the box with the other one. And at this point I have like a heating pad and then a towel and then the cardboard box with a towel in it and them in it mm -hmm. on top of the heating pad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then as she pulls up, I go and look in that same bush with the flashlight on my cell phone and just see the reflection of little eyes. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> And that was Georgie. Because then we saw that little hurt foot. Oh, so the foot was hurt when you got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, her mm -hmm. foot was already hurt. And so we've been keeping a close eye on it. Yeah. She looks so curious about everything. Very adventurous, too. Climbing up on your shoulder. <laughs> Sniffing. <laughs> is their fur soft? It is very soft. Mm -hmm. Its tail is not as long as I thought it would be. Yeah. Yeah. That's like always one of the first things I notice about a possum after I see its face is its long tail. I wonder if the tail will grow. I don't know. Come here. Do they like to sleep next to each other in the crate? They sleep in a little pile top of one another Goodness. Uh -huh. all snuggled up and warm which makes sense because normally they would sleep on mom's back right all nuzzled against one another yeah so they're used to being very warm they're used to being very warm and snuggled together with each other and how long have you had them at your house inside your house i guess <laughs> <laughs> i don't know my days are running together at this I point know. um yeah. A little over a week. Okay. Today's Friday. I found them on a Thursday, so it's been a week and a day. Okay. And then when you, meaning release them into the wild, that would mean releasing them into your neighborhood? Is that the wild? Well, they will be taken, like, up to the mountains, oh, at okay. least near a water source. Okay. So they'll be far away from your neighborhood. Yeah, it's illegal to release them in residential areas. Even though a lot already clearly live here. Yeah, but if you're taking them in and rehabilitating them, they're supposed right. to be released right. far away from residential areas. 
So you'll give them to somebody who knows a lot about possums and then they'll drive them to a safe place in the forest. Yeah, so they'll be given to, in a couple of weeks probably, they'll be given right. to a, um, a licensed rehabilitator mm -hmm. who will keep them in much larger space than I can put them in here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, she's already like, do you have room for an extra large dog kennel? They'll oh. need to be in there for the next several weeks. And I'm like, I don't know that I do. <laughs> now, several weeks. That's a long time. Though, um, so uh, this is where like there's two different views kind of within possum rehabilitation community mm -hmm. um, that some would release them in like three weeks from now and others will keep them for several months oh wow that until is... they're like two and a half three pounds and therefore too big to be picked up by birds uh, to kind of give them a, a better chance of survival yeah so the two opinions is one well, this is when they would no longer be with their mom. Right. And the other is, if we're already saving them and rehabilitating them, why are we not giving them the best chance they can possibly have? Yeah, I get that. Yeah. Oh my goodness. They have quite a journey still. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that one is just cozied up in there. It's asleep. Oh, Because they sleep during the day. That's true. That's right. Do they make any sounds? Um, so they make, like, very occasionally this little, like, chirpy sound hmm. uh, that I don't hear very often. And then they make a sound that they call spitting. And it sounds like the world's tiniest sneeze. <laughs> And they do it to like call for call for their mom. <laughs> um, a friend of mine has one that's smaller than them right now. Oh wow! And hers, she only has the one, and hers spits like on the dot every time it's time for them to be fed. <laughs> oh my goodness! Wow. She's so like she has it timed down. Yeah. Like, I will be fixing her, and she's bottle feeding this one. Oh, I see. And she's like, I'll be fixing her bottle, and I hear. <laughs> <laughs> Are you still giving them baths? Uh, I only give them a bath when they need it. Mm -hmm. So I gave them a bath when I first got them, because uh, mm -hmm. they were a couple of fleas. Right, yeah. Sometimes fleas live outside. You could pick them up. And so I gave them a little bath, and then I flea combed each one get all the fleas off mm -hmm. um and then only if they like get super dirty right then i'll give them a bath i was reading that they actually strongly dislike being dirty if they can avoid being dirty they huh. will i think there's so much misinformation about possums out there just what I'm hearing from you sounds so different from what common knowledge is. Yeah, like so clean. They don't hang by their tails. They don't hang by their tails. They highly prefer to be clean. Mm -hmm. uh, they like they lick themselves like cats. Oh my gosh! And so they actually stay quite clean. Mm -hmm. They strongly dislike being messy. Um, Do they clean each other? I think they do. I haven't seen them do it, but I've heard that they do. Mm -hmm. um, so like to get them to eat the formula at first, one of the recommendations I got was just set them in the bowl of formula. They'll lick it off each other and then they'll oh. taste it and know they like it. <laughs> okay. So that's what we did. So you have all of them in your arms right now. And I do. I have all three and two are sleeping. Let me see if you can see both of them. Mm -hmm. This little tail is the second one. <laughs> it <laughs> head, is really in there. Head, tail. Yeah. Face. Oh, hello. I'm sorry to wake you. I just wanted to take a peek. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Brown. Mm -hmm. 
How long do um, adult possums live for once they get to be an adult? Um, that varies. Some say only two years. Mm -hmm. Some say more like four to six. Oh, that's a really big difference. I mean, if they live two years, they would be growing pretty quickly, which they already seem to be. Yeah, I mean, they'll be almost full grown in like six months, I think. Wow. Wow. That is so neat. Hmm. Yeah. If they've been raised in a human's house, how do they teach them to forage for their own food or to like dig for worms and things? Um, so these already were doing that some prior to whatever happened to mom. Right, right before um, Mom summer. would have already been teaching them how to do that. I see. Um, but we'll also start giving them like live worms. Oh, okay. Crickets and other little bugs that they'll figure out how to get and catch and mm -hmm. eat. You might go outside into your garden and dig until you find a worm. Yeah. Where like you, you know, movie. there's always places that you can buy them also. Right, right. I think it would probably be easier to buy a cricket than to try to catch one, for example. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. <laughs> um, be a little easier. Oh, so sweet. I know we found worms at nursery school in the backyard before. Well, I asked Warren if he wanted to find a worm and give it to them, and he said he did not. <laughs> he did not want his worm to be eaten. <laughs> So we didn't do that. We'll buy worms from a feed store and give them that option. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is Georgie, her little foot. How is her foot hurt? Is it like a scrape or a broken toe? So like, can you see, she doesn't have claws oh. on this foot. Oh, interesting. Huh. And it was like actually looking very injured when... We found her, mm -hmm. but it's healing up nicely now. Hmm. So we're going to wait and see if those little nails grow back. Oh, they could grow back. I see. And if they grow back, then she'll be released to the wild. And if they don't grow back, then she will probably be kept by someone. Risk. It would it would impede her ability to climb. Mm. To Especially not have any claws on one up. foot. Right. Yeah. 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 I see. So I've been talking to um, a woman who's just outside of Los Angeles who said, we'll see. She thinks that they'll grow back, but if they don't, then she would find her a good home to be in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it is illegal to keep them as pets in Los Angeles. Okay. Uh, only like a licensed rehabber is able to like keep them if they're unable to be released. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah, that makes sense. You want someone to take care of them who really knows about possums and will keep them safe and very healthy. Yeah. If somebody kept a possum who was um, like a licensed rehab person, would they keep the possum like in a area by itself or do they ever keep them with other possums? Because you said they are um, solitary. Lonely. When they're adults, they do not typically take well to other adult possums. Mm -hmm. So, like, if, like, these three were raised together and for whatever reason were unable to be released, they could probably be kept together. Right, right. But you wouldn't be able to put, like, an adult with another adult and, like, keep them there long term. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I think a lot of animals are like that. So you keep them in their little carrier and you keep them in a bedroom of your house? Yep. So they're in um, the room that's my office mm -hmm. in my house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so I, I have blackout curtains in here, so I'm able to make it pretty dark in here at night. Mm, right. What's the closest relative to a possum? Like a, I mean, they're in the same family as like a kangaroo. Huh. Yeah. They're marsupials with a pouch. Right, right. 
quite different size. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, same family as like, you know, a, like a tiger and a house cat are in the same family. True. Yeah. Oh my gosh. But they're both marsupials. But I do find it so interesting that they are the only one in North America that has the pouch. Mm. And this has definitely taught me a lot about possums that I didn't know. And I will always think of them very differently now. I think yeah, I'll like them more. It's been really fun to learn about them and learn all the cool little facts about them. Mm -hmm. And we'll be giving them to over to a licensed rehabber soon. We've just been being counseled by one right now. Mm-hmm. She'll take them into her habitat in the near future. I see. Is this the time of year when baby possums are born, or are they born? Yes. Anytime? Oh. The spring, uh, and I read that each mama will have two litters. During the spring? Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, yeah, if she's only pregnant for two weeks, right? A little less than two weeks. But then she has, then they go in her pouch for so long and then they're on her back for so oh, long. Oh, I see. Okay. So um, she can't have two litters at once because of the teat and the... I would have to space. look into that further. I haven't really gotten that far because I've spent so much time reading about just the care for this age. Yes. yes. That I want to look more into just like general possum facts. Yeah. But I've spent so much time into like making sure that they're not missing anything from their diet and they're being fed correctly. And yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk yeah. to me about this, Keely. This is so interesting. I mean, what a great opportunity for everybody at nursery school to see what you've been doing and see baby possums. I never saw baby possums before, besides maybe in a photo. Or like some National Geographic movie. Mm. I like know I should leave them alone, but they're so cute. <laughs> they look really cozy. I think they're so much warmer next to your body, too. Cozy, cozy. Mm. Clean out their little cage like every day. Because mm -hmm. they spill food or formula or water everywhere maybe poop and pee and then poop and pee in there and so every day i i have i'm putting little puppy pads in there take little puppy pads out and throw those away and wipe down the whole thing and clean their bowls and put all fresh new everything in there mm -hmm. so every Ooh, day yep. aj waits until i'm gonna clean out the possum carrier and she sits in a chair and i put a blank clean blanket over her and i pile all three on <laughs> Okay, guys, nap time. Wow. Well, thank you so much, Keely, for spending this time. This was so interesting. I already know so much more than I did before. This is Glad really cool. we could help. Yeah. You have to keep us posted on what happens next and when they start to get bigger and if they decide they want something different to eat or if you feed them worms, that would be something cool to film. Oh, thanks so much, Keely. This was yeah. so interesting.